Welcome back. This is a follow-up video to our big stump pulling endeavor. Check out that video if you haven't already. We built a few small fires about the pile and then splashed them with diesel to get them going. We found that diesel just burnt the surfaces of the large stumps and it kind of just petered out. Bigger kindling needed to be added to get a decent blaze going. The largest trunk was sitting away from the center of the pile, so we lit another fire inside its hollow. The fire had gone out overnight even though we had stoked it up. The big trunks were just too massive to catch. We sawed off some outlying roots for more fuel and made more bore cuts for air to get into the trunks, being careful to avoid the old barbed wire the trees had swallowed long ago. Then it was just a matter of keeping the fire inside hot enough by stoking it. It's always surprising how much attention big fires need but it never feels like a waste of time standing around just gazing at them. By the third day, the pile was about a quarter the size we were finally getting somewhere, though it still needed a bit of molly coddling. There was still a lot of firewood to saw, split, and store. Having it close by made it easy to keep the fire fed. The pile had reduced down to not much more than a campfire by the fourth day. There was still a lot of work ahead. Hard, but satisfying work.
is a hoo hoo grub. Supposedly a delicacy in New Zealand, but according to Bear Grylls, it's the worst thing he's ever tasted. <laughs> this is actually a fairly small one. Let's see if we can find a chicken to feed it to. <laughs> ah! Here's one. Oh. oh yeah. How does it taste, huh? Oh, straight down. Straight down the gullet. Oh, hi. The huge stumps had been reduced to ash, and there was a lot of it. Good thing there was also plenty of huge craters that needed backfilling. The labour-saving front loader on our old tractor has just about a million different uses.
By day six, all that was left to do was process the last of the firewood. Of course, the stuff we'd left until the end was full of knots and twisted grain. There we go. Oh, another one with a knot right through it. Look at that mess. grain goes up and then around so I'm literally cutting into it not with it so all of this is pretty hard to get through should probably just chainsaw it yeah These guys like to hang out in the rotting wood. They are tunnel web spiders, similar to the Australian funnel web, except not nearly as deadly. Well, not deadly at all. Apparently they can deliver quite a bite, but it's not really that bad. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty creepy when you're splitting wood and you come across one of those. Apparently Shelob from Lord of the Rings was modelled after one of those tunnel web spiders. There was no rest on the seventh day. All that firewood needed moving. And there was a whole lot of sawdust and debris that needed raking up. Otherwise it would smother the grass, and you can't turn your nose up at good mulch. With another of our many big tasks complete, the homestead is a little tidier, and a little closer to the vision of the home we want to build here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>